Hi there, I'm uh, just making this video today because one of my best friends bought me this set of Dealer and Roundtree acrylic paints. I've never used these before and I'd like to try and use it on a canvas that she also bought me. So, using my sponge, this is what I like to cover canvases with, I'm going to just give this a coat of probably the blue. I'm naturally drawn to blue, I love the colour. So let's have a look and see how the paints uh, work on this canvas. So I'm just going to pop a little bit in my empty mushroom tray. This is what I use rather than constantly dirty in palettes and getting something ex expensive. I just use one of these. So I'm just going to pop a little bit and I'm just going to swipe that across the canvas. The good thing about these sponges is you can get really good coverage with a little bit of paint. Uh, you don't have to necessarily go over the same area twice on the first coat. I remember watching a video about painting with acrylic and they said lean over fat with your layers. So a thin layer first and then over it with a thicker layer. So I'm just doing a thin layer on here to begin with. There might be better ways of doing this. I'm still learning, but this is what I find works for me. So already I can see this is a really nice paint. It's thick. It's a lot thicker than the paints that I would use for dotting. Uh, but I'll also try it with dotting as well. I just wanted to see how this worked as a background colour. Uh, because I've used my dotting paints for backgrounds before and because they're just such small little bottles uh, I find I have to use quite a lot so I've been looking for ways look, to cover a canvas that doesn't use too much paint. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, just looking at what kind of paint this is. This is the Simply Acrylic Ultramarine Blue from Dale around me. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll let that dry and I will pop another coat on. But yeah, so far, so good. The good thing with sponges as well is they retain so much paint. You don't need to use as much and it's really easy to fill in all those little gaps that you might miss. So I like to just go around and make sure there's a nice even color. There's no spots that have a lot of paint on. So I'm pretty happy with that as my starting base, if you can see that properly. And I'll be back shortly with a second coat. So I've let this canvas dry only for about five, 10 minutes. Uh, it's such a thin coat that don't take long to dry and it's quite warm in here. Just a little bit of color coming off, a little bit damp, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the fat coat now, following the lean over fat rule. Uh, what I do, just a little tip, uh, between coats when I'm using paint like this, I just put a wet piece of kitchen towel over it just so it doesn't dry out and you're not wasting paint. And also that your sponges don't dry out. I found uh, I've ruined a lot of sponges by leaving paint on the edges of them and then they're rock hard and you can't use them. So I've learned, you, you know, you really need to look after your tools. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second coat now. So just to dab more paint, you really don't need a lot when you're using the sponge. So I'm just going to load, load this up here about that much and just following exactly the same method as I did before. So I like to sort of do nice wide strokes. I feel that gives me, you know, more uniform coverage and better color intensity. Already, um, I can see this paint is gonna be a beautiful color. I love this ultramarine blue. This probably is one of my favorite colors. So happy with this so far. I'm just continuing with the thicker, the fat coat. Just covering the canvas. Getting all these white bits covered. And I try not to go over it too much. She says I should does it. But um, 
sometimes I find that takes the bottom layer off but you can build it up you can build up the color intensity which is what's really good with these paints is it's already with a second coat so much more blue and I would generally do one or two coats when I'm using black paint one or two coats is fine with a lighter color I tend to use a few more coats um, but I kind of also like it when it's not completely covered the canvas I like to see a little bit of the texture coming through especially when dotting I think having a nice pattern of dots on a slightly not uniform if that's a word background uh, I just think it adds a bit of texture and a bit of interest so I'm gonna let that dry and we'll see what it's like after that but I think already you can see it's a really nice blue so yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with these paints. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I've left this coat for about 20 minutes and this is completely dry now. So I'm gonna go back over with the final coat of this De La Rowney. I think I said De La Rowney at the beginning. Can't read, so that's De La Rowney. So another thicker coat this time. Again, fat over lean. So I'm just going to load up my sponge. <clears throat> and again, just going over in wide strokes. Wow. That is a really, really nice blue. Very happy with that. Now these, um, I guess this is just some kind of starter pack these paints just to sort of test her so I am using quite a lot of this but this is only a 12 ml bottle so this is a good way to sort of find out what paints you like uh, what do the job for what it is you're looking for so a small sort of taster pack rather than jumping into it and buying you know a full size set of a particular brand and then realizing they don't work for you um, if you follow me on my Instagram, Dot For Days Art, you'll see that I use so many different brands uh, for dotting. I like PBO, I like Do Craft Artiste. I've just started getting um, Deco Art Americana. So definitely check out my Instagram if you want to see what kind of paints I like to use for dotting. And yeah, I'm really happy with this. It's got a, a beautiful blue you can see that that is a really really nice blue uh there's still a little bit of white showing through but i kind of like that uh this paint is a little more liquid than some of the other paints i use i generally just use like a craft paint a, a sort of lower range lower price range um craft paint to cover the canvases and that generally works pretty well for us but I, d I do usually use black and you can get away with so much more with black than a different a different color lighter color i've tried to cover canvases in yellow um and i found i just needed lots and lots of layers but blue as i say is one of my favorite colors so i really wanted to try this out so yeah i'm really happy with that i will go over and cover all the sides at some point i haven't been feeling too well um if you follow me on instagram you'll know that i've had the lurgy uh hands are still a little bit shaky so i'm not going to be dotting this one right now but just to give you a sort of a good idea of these paints um i'm happy with them yeah um i really love the blue color I love how you can build it up in layers. Uh, it's got a pretty good consistency. And really, I've, I've not used much. Of 12 mils, I've probably used three or four mils. Maybe it's a third of what's actually in there. So, yeah, pretty happy with these Dela and Rowney paints. Um, if you want to see more videos of me dotting, test now products and things, please like and subscribe to my channel. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Head over to Dots for Days Art for links to my blog and just videos on Dutton and the process. Uh, excuse the bread bin, because I am filming this in my kitchen. <laughs> uh, but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.